Idris Okudaya, Bob Brisky. Now he's been sentenced to six months in prison. Perhaps one question that's been on the lips of people is which uh, you know, cell he would be in. Is it the female cell or the male cell? What more can you tell us about this matter? Well, it's going to be rather difficult to ascertain as now, as at now where he will be. But one interesting scene played out in court today, boss, uh, before Justice Awoboro of the Federal High Court, uh, where I am. Here, where I am. Um, as soon as he came in, the judge asked for his gender, and he said, "I am a man." And this is unlike the position that Bob Brisky had been, um, you know, propagating online. We know how prominent he is online. We we know how loud he has been uh, with the sisterhood. Um, code that he has been identifying with and being open about his transitioning from a man to a woman. Of course, we also know that the name on the chat sheet is reading Idris Okunoye, Idris Olarewaji Okunoye, male in brackets, and um, as such, even though he came in dress today, just like the last John date, in uh, a long uh, jalamia, so to speak, in a long black robe, and he had a veil on. At the last adjourned day, the judge also asked him to remove the veil that he had on uh, covering his face. And, and he, of course, um, um, you know, obliged, you know, of course, obeyed uh, the order. But today was also a very interesting thing, like I said earlier, earlier on, where he identified as being a man. While he was in the ESC custody, where he was brought from uh, to hear his sentence today, we understand that he had been in a lone cell, neither a male or a female cell, but he had been kept in a lone cell, he alone, so to speak. And we also understand that at the point, of course, his beds were already growing out, though that has not been confirmed uh, by the ESC operatives, but uh, uh, we, we, we heard that in, in, in the grapevine, so to speak. So where he's heading, I don't know if the correctional facility has the luxury of a lone cell, unlike what's obtained uh, while he was in ESC custody. But presently, is in the holding cell within the court premises, the Federal High Court premises, because there are still some other matters ongoing here uh, in Ikoi. So when they are all done, because now he has been transferred to the Ikoi Correctional uh, Center, where he is expected to serve out uh, his um, his um, sentencing. So, but he is being kept with some other inmates at the holding cell of the Federal High Court Ikoi. All right, Kemi. Let's now talk about another case, which was that of the former governor of the CBN, Godwin Emefile. He has been granted bail of uh, 50 uh, million uh, naira. Talk to us about that. All right. Um, the case was last heard involving the former central bank governor on Monday this week. He had applied for bail. Uh, he, along with his co-defendant, Isioma Omole, but um, many had expected that a ruling would have been given that day. But you know, so many times you cannot preempt the judge. The judge adjourned till Thursday, yesterday, but that day was cut off by the three day public holiday issued by the government in view of the Adel Fitri uh, celebration. And so the next uh, hearing date fell on Friday today. And the first business of the day was for the court to, to deliver its ruling on the bail application. Bearing in mind that Mr. Emefele is already standing trial on an earlier case in Abuja, and he's also due to be uh, arraigned on uh, a case involving the botched Naira redesign policy. That is also going to come up sometime later this month in Abuja as well. So these were the grounds that the Defense Council had applied for in seeking for a bail on lenient grounds. But uh, as we see today, the court has granted bail in the sum of 50 million Naira, and he will now be moved from the uh, Ikoyi office of the AFCC to a regular correctional facility. So that is what we are also seeing. And the case is also ongoing, but this time around in Ikeja, a state high court, the Ikeja Sexual, Special Offenses Court. And after the bail ruling was given, uh, the first witness of the AFCC has um, been called upon to testify. However, his cross-examination will be stalled because... As we speak now, we are hearing that the Defense Council is asking for a date for adjournment within which to um, cross-examine him on all the facts that he has uh, brought forward to the court so far today. So that's all the right. much we can say now that Mr. Mipele has been granted bail 
but pending when he fulfills his bill condition, he will uh, be at the uh, correctional facility uh, of uh, the Nigerian uh, um, Correctional Service. Mm. Kemi Fola, for us in Ekoi, Lagos State. Thank you very much, Kemi, for these updates.